Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today I'm gonna to show you how you're able to get the Pixel search bar on your Samsung Galaxy devices. So you can have it as either a widget, which you can see right here, you know, it pulls up the recent applications. It's gonna pull up some of your recent history. And if I wanted to, I can even search independently on any of these little platforms or these little applications sitting over here. And on the top right hand side, I can choose which of these I want to show up and what I want all of this search content, you know, where do I want the results to kind of come from. I can also change the theme, the icon pack, app shortcuts, and a few other pretty cool things that you can customize. Or you can just have it work as an application itself. Pretty much kind of depends on which one you want to be on your home screen. Now this over here is the normal Google search bar widget. If you tap on the G, it'll open up your Google application. If you tap on the search bar itself, this is just you searching on Google. It's not gonna you know, show this version over here that you see on the Pixel devices, but it's pretty cool. It's a free application that you can get. I believe it's also fairly new. There's not too many downloads of it as well. So all you'd have to do if you would like to get that Pixel search bar on your Samsung phone, you just wanna go inside of the Play Store and you wanna search for Pixel Search. So this is what the icon looks like. Here is the developer. Uh, you can scroll down, you can read what is new with some of the updates. You can also take a look at uh, about the application. It's actually also put right, you know, right inside of there. So if you open this up, you're gonna see that it pretty much operates the exact same way when it comes down over into a Pixel. You have applications on the top, and the cool thing as well is that it will find really anything on your phone. So for example, I typed in the word belt earlier on. So if you basically just search for the word, so if I go up here and if we just you know search for belt and then I hit on the search button, it's just gonna search it in Google. But as you are typing, when you bring down your your keyboard you'd be able to see other things so you can see you know files from the device so if there was other files on the device or if you're searching for something inside of inside of your galleries or you're searching for something you know inside of applications it'll be able to find it or even if it was something inside of text messages as well so right here if you open up belt this was an image that i took and then i titled it or added a little tag of belt so this way i can find it later on so it works pretty much the exact same way as what would happen on a pixel so what you can do is you can either have the normal google search bar widget over here which again this is the normal search and then if you were to uh, move on back when you hit on the g this g right here this will just take you inside of the google uh, and so same thing over here if i tap on the g it'll take me right inside of google if i tap on the bar that basically searches for everything on the phone as well as a google search now, when you first download it, it'll just come as this application right here. You just open up this application. It works pretty much the exact same way. And then you can go through some of the settings. But how you're able to add this as a widget is you just press and hold. And then you want to go inside of widgets. And then as you scroll down, just search for pixel widget or pixel search. So once you have right here, pixel search, this is where you'd be able to add in this widget. So you just press and hold add it to your home screen. And so now you got it right there. The other thing is that it'll also add a quick little, uh, uh, quick setting on the very top. So on the quick setting on the very top, if you hit on this little plus button and you scroll over, you'll notice that there is another little one sitting right here. So if you wanted to add this as a quick setting on the top and maybe not as something that's taken up your screen, you just have it as a quick setting. So this way, when you move right over to it, you tap on it, then it's going to open up there it is, your your widget, the basically the application of the Pixel Search. It's pretty cool. So there's three ways of getting inside of of the, the, the Pixel Search. So now that we're inside of it, we pretty much covered everything. We talked about the three different ways of opening it, either through the widget, through a quick setting, also the application itself. We talked about what it can search for and, and you have all these different areas here. So if I wanted to search for something specific on YouTube, it'll just take me directly over inside of YouTube. And you kind of get the point on all of those ones. Now, as you scroll down, you can take a look at some of the app defaults. So for this one, you can change the theme if you want it to be light, dark, system default, or set by battery saver. You also have icon packs. So I don't really use too many icon packs. You can search for your, through your system or you can get more icon packs if you want this to look a little different. App shortcuts, so you can edit shortcuts for 189 applications. The search apps, so click to manage search apps. So this is just kind of uh, putting in what order you want all of these to be. So when it comes down to Spotify, I don't really use it, so I took it off. 
on Chrome. I can turn it on if I want. Uh, I can keep my Samsung internet towards the top. You can keep Netflix, uh, you know, up here, maybe bring it down below maps. So you can change the order of these. And then all it's going to do is change the order of what you see right up over here. So you can see that we brought Netflix down a little bit, Samsung internet up, and you can either select or not select if you, you know, what you want to see on the very bottom. So it's just another way to search for some things on your phone. So if you want to keep it all kind of consolidated and have it all in one screen, instead of me having like two search bar widgets, what I can do is I can just bring the application over and it all really just depends on how your phone is all set up. So this is me on one screen having two different search bars. So I have Google sitting there uh, and I also have the regular Google application sitting right here. If I was to tap on here, then I could search through things for my phone or find something on the phone. I can find applications. I can also still again, search the web. And then again, there is the G to take me over inside of the normal Google uh, uh, application. So there's a couple different ways that you can search for things. I thought it was pretty cool to kind of show you that you are able to, in fact, bring over whatever Pixel searches, uh, the bars that is on the Google Pixel phones. It is now pretty much available on your Samsung Galaxy device. And again, for free, you just want to search for this application here. And I can also place this link below the video inside the description. All I got to do is pretty much just find this little share button, place it underneath the video. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. You know, it's kind of fun to, to take a look at other options. You can test it out, see if you like it. If you don't, just delete it and go right back to your normal Google search bar widget over here. But if you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. <music>